Number 39. Explain why an electron in a bonding molecular orbital in an H2 molecule has a lower energy than an electron in the 1s atomic orbital of either of the separated hydrogen atoms. Okay, now, in order to fully understand this, what I did bring up was I, I brought up a picture of the atomic orbitals versus the molecular orbitals of hydrogen. So it, they're basically asking for why is this orbital where the two electrons lie in H2, why is this lower in energy, right? As we're going higher and higher and higher, you're gaining energy. Why is this line lower than where you started at, right? So we started at these atomic orbitals with some enough energy, but then when you actually made the compound, you have a lower amount of energy. Why is that? Well, it all comes back to what the drawing is. Now, hydrogen only has a 1s orbital. So we could generally write that as a circle, right? S's are just circles. So I have one electron here. And if I can, uh, maybe I'll just draw it in it. I guess, I guess, uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw as the black, the black dot is the nuclei or the nucleus and the electron is going to be the um the blue dot here and the same thing goes for the other hydrogen right it's going to be a blue circle and then your nucleus is going to be in the middle that should be black and then you have one electron just chilling in a circular motion we'll just put it over here doesn't really matter and now when these two come together, they should make a molecular orbital. And the molecular orbital is basically going to be, you have your two nuclei, and now it's acting as one whole big circle. So it's like a synergistic type of effect where your two circles come together to kind of form like a bigger circle, right? Or, or an oval of some sort. And you have your two electrons anywhere in the blue area. Could they be here? Sure. Could they be over here? Sure. Let's just maybe put them, I don't know, one, two, or maybe we'll do one, two. So now they're asking for, well, why is this way lower in energy than what you started with? Well, this has to do with how many total electrons are in my atomic orbital. And as you can see here, there's two, right? One up, one down. So that's the two electrons. But the idea here is that those two electrons are now closely, uh, we'll say, we'll just say is now close in proximity. So proximity to the positive nuclei. Right? Remember that a nucleus is positive. So you have negatives that are chilling around, right? Wherever the electron density is, but they're nice. You know, they're happy because they're next to a positive nucleus. And remember, opposites attract. So the more that you have that charge distribution between a nucleus and an electron, they like it. So, so opposite sides, opposites attract. So because of that, when those electrons are now in proximity, more proximity for the positive nuclei, right, that will basically lower the energy. And whenever energy is lower, just, just means that you're basically more stable. And that's why this H2 atom exists. Because when you take those atomic orbitals and you put them together to make a molecular orbital, you get lower in energy, more stability. So checks out. And that's basically the end for this question. I hope that this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you're doing well out there. And keep studying hard. All right, good luck on your test quizzes. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Um, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.